Good morning, everyone. This is a case of 3D technology applied of complex abdominal wall pathologies. The causes of recurrence in traditional anterior repairs include tension, mist, or overlooked hernias, intrinsic weakness in the collagen floor, and technical errors committed during the repair. There are many studies that evaluate the accuracy of the preoperative clinical ultrasound examination comparing with the later intraoperative laparoscopic findings, which were considered to be the gold standard for the proof and classification of inguinal hernias. The objectives that we searched were uh, the intro to introduce a classification and treatment system for abdominal wall pathology, extend the classification into more complex hernias, and elaborate scales and recommendations for every, every single case. The, metho the methodology used, uh, we, we had a case of 30-year-old male with complex abdominal wall herniations. We used CT scans, the, the Botox, and the ultrasound. The protocols we used was a quantitative classification used before based on anatomical parameters and the surgical recommendations based on current guidelines. And mainly the software used, which was the 3D Slicer program version 5.0.2. The results, in the results, we, uh, we, we show the CT with oral and intravenous contrast. And in this, we see how uh, we manufacture the, the parts of the abdominal uh, anatomical structures that we were interested with. Uh, for example, in this case, we see the anatomical structures, the number one for the bladder, the two for the pubic bone, the three, the pelvic muscle, and four for the anterior abdominal wall and the protruded area encircled in green. This is a graphic of, of the workstation on CTS license showing the CT scans, uh, demarcating the anatomical areas to be studied. We see the segment editor model and its seat function to the left. Image we uh, just mark on the bone in white and with arrows signalizing the inguinal hernias, which are represented in blue and purple with the pelvic muscle structure in the right image also using this model of the program. This is another graphic of the workstation. We see uh, the actual one in the red bar. In the blue bar, we see the total representation of the 3D reproduction. In the green one, we see the coronal and the sagittal in the yellow one. In the bottom, we see also the, the parameters and the measurements taken in, in the case which are the volume, the diameter, and the surface mainly. Also, we see in the left part, uh, the module we used, and also it's, uh, it's item in the, in the left in the, in the pink ellipse. And here we see the 3D representation and reproduction of using the 2D images of the CT scan. And in this, we see the, also, the, the diameters taken and the surface taken by this demarcation of in red and blue of the hernia rings in the left and in the right, we see with the, with the hernia sacs in blue and purple. This chart shows the number of organs, recurrences, volume, hernia, well, hernia volume, and the ratio between the hernia sac and the total of the abdominal cavity volume and the hernia ring surfaces. These parameters were taken to to have a quantitative uh, classification and scale in order to uh, have a recommendation that we'll see above. In here, uh, we have, uh, depending on the score the case would give, the recommendations shown and that are taken by the current guidelines of, on abdominal pathology. This is the case, and we, uh, because of the number of organs involved, in this case one, it gives a plantation of one. No recurrences gives a plantation of one. The volume annual sac uh, uh, gives a plantation of one in this case, and the ratio also another plantation of one and two for the annual ring surface, a total amount of six, which give to the patient a grade two. And it was taken by this recommendation, a uh, laparoscopic technique, as is shown in the, in the right side of the, of the chart. 
We conclude that we are confident that this technology based on 3D reconstruction is very helpful in the preoperative diagnosis, the establishment of new classifications and therapeutic solutions for hernia cases, and with further investigations, it can take part of complex cases of abdominal wall herniations as well. Besides, it can be an easy tool for universal comprehension at all levels of expertise, a student, training, surgeon, or professor for the understanding of this pathology. Thank you very much.